Hello everybody, welcome to the Rockin' Crystals channel. My name is AJ and I am on the road sourcing crystals for the Rockin' Crystals shop. I am going to throw this video over to my buddy Jay, just Jay, no A, to teach you all about crystals today. Hey there, Jay here. Charge your garden with crystals. Gardening with crystals is nothing new with First Nation shamans and others from around the world using them for gardening for thousands of years. Different crystals represent the four elements of earth, air, fire and water, which are believed to add balance and harmony to the garden. Representing the four elements is important when designing a Zen or meditation garden. Crystals come in a wide variety of colors, size and textures. You might use a small crystal in a bird bath, succulent container garden, fountain or fairy garden. Large crystals can be placed throughout the garden or used to mark out garden beds or trails. You might even find a butterfly using the shiny reflective surface of a crystal to help warm themselves and dry the dew off their wings just as they do with gazing bowls. Another way to use crystals is to add an antique crystal chandelier or lampshade hung from overhangs, tree limbs or pergolas. When the sun hits them, you'll get colorful rays out of light throughout. When gardening with crystals, the stones can be planted in the soil next to or underneath the plant roots, or they can also be displayed on the soil surface next to the plant. The following are just some of the crystals you might use in your garden. Citrine. This crystal symbolizes the energy of the sun. It helps to add a happy accent to beds or containers. It promotes happiness and dispels toxins and negativity. Clear quartz. This crystal is the one of the most common stones available. It easily reflects sunlight, sometimes casting rainbow reflections. Clear quartz may help tomato plants resist pests and diseases, including blight. Green aventrine. This crystal can be used for birds or butterflies, baths, fountains and container gardens. It also provides a less expensive alternative to jade for bonsai or zen gardens. It helps to calm stress and absorb negativity. It can also aid new plantings and help to reduce transplanting shock. Malachite. This green crystal represents abundance and fertility. It promotes new growth and transformation. When added to a garden, large raw pieces of malachite may create garden accents. Moonstone. This crystal is associated with the moon. It makes an excellent addition to the moon gardens, especially when they're accentuated with landscape lightning. It promotes health and fertility. It adds the energy of peace and relaxation. Moss Aged. This crystal is known as the gardener's stone. It promotes a connection to the earth and has a grounding energies. It adds balance, promotes health and vitality in the garden. Small polished pieces of chips can be used as essence in cacti, succulents or fairy gardens. Rayolite. This colorful crystal adds balance, fortitude and perseverance. You can win a crystal by leaving a comment and letting us know what you love about crystals. Also be subscribed to this channel. We give away a new crystal with every video upload. If you're looking to buy crystals, we have some amazing deals available at our crystal shop. Link in the description below. Grab yourself a free copy of the Crystal Compendium, which has over 250 crystal definitions. Link in the description below. Join our crystal affiliate program if you'd like to make money selling crystals. We pay a 20 2% commission for referred sales. Enroll in our crystal healing course. Link in the description below along with the link to our affiliate program and check out the Crystal Meanings app in both the App Store and Google Play Store for crystal meanings and definitions at your fingertip. It's absolutely free, pun intended. And of course, be subscribed to this channel because we learn something about crystals every single day. And who doesn't love learning about crystals? Okay, have a great day.